a swim in winter is always a great idea to weaken the metric system and uh, you must always remember that the metric system is very weak very weak it only goes a few centimeters into the water now maybe you even maybe you even feel it at home that that um, it's diminished it's fed by your soul it's a parasite system once when your soul disconnects from feeding that monster i'm magami the balkan alchemist and you are warriors and sorcerers. Let me explain to you how you, surrounded by people who have chosen on their soul level, on the higher world level, they have chosen to suffer in this existence. How you, surrounded by such business partners, by such employees, and even by such clients, how you can prosper in this reality. This is a very complicated topic. It will be impossible to explain in writing form because spelling makes the sentence. Yes, spelling makes the sentence. In the voice form, maybe the message can get to you. Concentrate, do your best, connect with yourself above the matrix, a super powerful angel above the matrix land, and then you will understand and then you will prosper. So this is the situation. People around you, almost all of them, they have chosen to suffer in this reality. That means having sickness, that means doing stupid things, and that also means having financial problems. It all comes in one package, one big suffering. And they are masochists. They are actually enjoying that suffering. Of course, almost all of them on a conscious level will claim, yeah, I want to be healthy. Yeah, I want to be prosperous. Yeah, I want this, I want that. But subconsciously, and that is connected with their choice or their soul, they came here to suffer. And if you try, if you try to push them, or if you try to partner with them, or even if you try to employ them, that huge suffering, that huge pain will also engulf you. It will also engulf you unless you understand how to do it, unless you understand. So you must communicate on two levels. You must communicate with their conscious, with their mind that usually, not always, but usually wants to prosper because you will attract such people that on conscious level want to do good things, want to do healthy things and so on. You will not attract the totally lost people that on conscious level want to destroy everything. However, unfortunately, on the subconscious level, that is connection to your soul, they will want misery, they will enjoy misery, and they will not want to change it. Because, hey, misery, suffering, constant stress, constant repeating of problems, that is something familiar. While new change, new reality, and now we are talking about financial prosperity, that is something new. Let's fear that. That is the unknown. We fear the unknown and we will rather stay in the shithole because the unknown, the unfamiliar, is even more frightening than this bad reality but common reality that we have maybe seen with our parents, with our caregivers already. In this video, I will give you an example how to deal with employees that are not motivated by more money, that are not motivated by more prosperity because subconsciously they enjoy their misery and they are not ready to be awakened. You will learn how to do it in this video. However, there is also another extremely important topic you must learn. When you start realizing, when you, an aspiring warrior or an aspiring sorceress, start realizing that everybody around you actually enjoy their suffering you will start feeling the anger you had that anger in you from when you were born but the brainwashing of the society did not allow you to feel the anger because the false resistance spirituality tells you you must not be angry you must be a spiritual guy a guru or possibly an avatar sitting because the channeling does not work if he would go under the waterfall of course he sits on his fat ass <laughs> all day and he's a guru or an avatar 
or whatever, they will all tell you, you must connect yourself with a higher love, you must love everybody. But hey, Magami does not love the snake. I do not know about you, but I do not love the snake. There is only one way to deal with the snake. You either run away or you chop its head off. There is not a third way. There is not a way. We are not to be in the war. We are all connected on some level. Yes, and that level is the blade of the sword. That is that is the level connecting us warriors and sorcerers to the snake. There is no other level. So remember, the false resistance <laughs> matrix spiritual schools and, and even common schools will tell you, you must feel love for the universe, you must feel compassion, compassion, you must even, even take part of their suffering onto you and then you will reach heaven. That's of course not true because the soul results, the soul results will start to be visible in this reality already. And that is the anger you have been feeling. That is the anger. You have anger when people around you try to push on you that agenda. And you know what? It is better to show that anger. Yes, show that anger. Expel that toxicity from you. Expel it from you first. Get rid of the toxin first. And then then you will be without anger. If you try to be without anger, without it coming out of you first, you are in for a very rough ride. That is why in this video, when I explain to the aspiring warrior how to deal with the employee that indulges and is happy in his own misery, that is why I display big anger. I emphasize the anger, the anger at the serve employee. Those people that have chosen on their soul level to live in misery and to enjoy the suffering, I call them the serfs. It's not an ideal name, but it's the best the language can offer us. So you will see me being very angry. I'm emphasizing the anger. I'm emphasizing. So you will learn the principle. It's much better to be too angry and to get this out of your system than to leave anger inside you because it will ferment and sooner than you think it will turn you into a castrated eunuch. That will happen if you leave the anger inside you to fester, to ferment, while on the outside you are enlightened. I also asked my good ally, Admiral, to show you how he destroys several objects that are actually containers for demons, where demons hide because they know they will never be destroyed inside those objects. To show his anger, how people close to him gave him those objects, so they would be demon carriers and they would follow him through life. So you will see an advanced destruction of a demon carrying objects where we torture the demon inside the object. We, we do not eliminate him quickly. We torture the demon because one level is quick elimination of the demon by quickly disposing or destroying the object. But an advanced warrior level is slowly torturing the demon inside the object. He knows he will be destroyed, but we do it slowly. So the agony is longer and we will be rewarded. Why? Because the demon wants the agony on an even bigger level than the common man. This is extremely hard to understand, but warriors and sorcerers, this is the matrix land you chose to enter and then as a mortal human to raise above it. Now follow me and together we will throw the wrench into the machine. Magami, what's up? New video from the heart of the matrix. Four followers. Deep, deep topic. Scratching the surface. Scratching. Um, talking about one tip of the iceberg. Tip of the iceberg. Followers of Magami. One tip of the iceberg you have to, you have to be aware of. Do you know what a computer chip looks like? I grew up using computers. My father's a programmer. I use computers since I'm four years old. I know how a computer chip looks like. Video from the heart of the matrix. Attacking the dragon. 
Look, it's real simple. If you don't know how a computer chip looks like, just look at these buildings. They are not microchips, they are macrochips. Every single household connected with electrics, every single household, one device, one wireless router device, three laptops, three smartphones, every single human being in the West pumped up with heavy metals, becoming another walking microchip. How do you get out? How do you manage to escape the grip of this, what we, I, inspired by Magami, is calling, what we are calling, the machine. Here is the Admiral. The demonic cube. First stage of the composition. First stage. Yes. Yes. Yes, a lot of demon is coming out. Yes. Now the torch yes the torch yes yes you burn you burn so you can see this better yes oh yes look at this nice flame mm -hmm. this nice flame mm -hmm. Yes, you burn. No more fuel. Yes. Yes, you burn. Mm -hmm. And now the altar. Yes. Yes. Now you burn. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. Look at it, it's evaporating. The demon is evaporating. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yes. Look at this beautiful. This is the Admiral. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flickering, flickering. This is the Admiral. This is stage one. Stage two.
Alistaja ja oituvit. Yes. This is the equipment for stage 2. This is the equipment and this is most important spearheaded. Spearhead. Spearheaded. And second one. Wear a mask. You don't want to breathe these toxins. Yes. So, stage three. Oh, look at this. Stage three. Nice boss. Nice. Oh, look at this. Nice boss design. Yes. More power. Full. Nice aluminum. Very nice. Good design. Designer perfume. This is Admiral. Now. And now my specialty. Mm, 
Park. A little bit more. Dealed. This is a special drill. So, here it is. And now we have a special barbecue. Special barbecue. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very special barbecue. Very special barbecue. Special. Mm -hmm. Special barbecue. Speciale.
Which yeah, I'll have a barbecue. So, no more demon. Hello, this is the Admiral here again. With demonic smurf. This is a smurf. My mother got as a present for my elementary school teacher. And as a kid, I destroyed these two probes it had here. And I had a huge shame for this. And my mother told this to teacher and she was... She was bugging me about this for a long time. And now, we will take care of this demonic animal. First, of course, we weigh our protection. Second, well, it would be maybe better to for this smear to have a slow, slow, painful death to drill it, but the pleasure from this hammer will be too, too extreme for me, so I have to do it quickly. Take a bag. Wrap it in. Oh, little smurf. You gave me so much suffering. Now you die. You shitty smurf. You shitty little smurf. You shitty smurf. Let's see. No, no, I will do it like this. I have to see him. First, first the tail, huh? No. Everything. <laughs> Decades of pain gone in just a few seconds. Oh, I will paralyze him. Shitty smurf. Yes. Yes, turn to powder. Yes, this is fantastic. Yes. Yes. You shitty little smurf. Ooh. So, this was the Admiral. I will leave these pieces, just as a memory. Great Magami, today is Sunday. I have to do the update of yesterday, Saturday, when I went with the artisan of the wood. He is very um, well informed about what China is doing politically, the government, the conspiracy. So he's very um, worried about his health, he's produced his own eggs, he has his chickens, he has his uh, salads, fruits, olive trees, etc, etc. He was so gentle with me that if he wants to give me as a present some salads uh, for, for me, but I have my salads as well. But we have a couple hours of really beautiful conversation about I want to help this man to sell things in English and expand the marketplace. Probably I could do some business partnership with him. I will be back with him on uh, next Friday or Saturday and we probably have a better conversation about it. And uh, because she, he was very helpful with me, 
I explained him a simple machine that can do for liberate yourself from the toxins in the food. But I told him to do not speak to anybody about this magami. So I'm asking you the feedback if I did well, good, because he, this man can be a very, very good ally for me and for the community here. And it was very, very good the kind of information he gave me and the level of uh, um, protection he has about the system, how is he well informed about the future, the, the pollution in the water, the plastic, etc, etc, etc. But he as well is a victim of the, of the subtle hypnosis because he is focusing on some things but he completely ignores other things. He, is, uh, he knows about the conspiracy of the global distribution, the supermarket, the global distribution, but uh, he doesn't uh, uh, look at the pollution of the water, the other stuff that think that we are professor of everything in Miami. Thank you very much. Miami, this is for the pepper. Miami, as you can see, this was the salt at the bottom of the salt mill. I don't know if it's yellow for the, for the wood. So this is the, this is the inside, you can see, this is inside, now I have to, to screw this, this screw to see what there is inside, okay, so I unscrewed the screw and this is the, the mill, this is the mill my guy. As you can see, this is the meal. I don't know what there is. This is the meal. Why the, the why is becoming yellow the salt? I don't know. And this is as you can see. This is the meal. So I don't know why. You see if the salt is toxic or not. I don't know if it is wood or not. I don't know. I don't know because here it seems clean so I don't know what there is in this meal that is making is making dirt I don't know I don't know I'm trying to bring the paper paper and paper, green paper, into the into the hole like this to clean to clean it. As you can see, my gummy, I put everything in lemon. I I try to to juice a, a lemon in the in the green the, to see because it 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 is like there is oil, mechanic oil in the in the green. The, so in the meal. So I think. Uh, I ate I have eaten salt with gasoline maybe maybe so I will leave this all the day here until this evening I will see if we get cleaned from from this mechanical oil that that stupid man put in okay I don't know if I have to put the lemon also within here I don't know I don't know I don't know open the salt mill and you say surf says uh, it's a great salt mill of course i said open the salt mill and then when you open there is
<laughs> engine oil, you understand? Yeah, engine you oil, see how he's, and you eat that stupid engine oil. Ah, and, and because you, tra- you, trusted, you trusted the surf. When, immediately when you saw that the salt is colored, you should throw this uh, meal into the surf's face, you know, immediately. And you trusted, oh, the surf must know he's an artisan expert. He must know maybe this is good for the salt. And I told you, remember I told you, watch out, these stupid surfs, they make things, but when you open them, it's paint inside, it's it's painting, it's like that all the time. I know it because I, I bought things from the artisan surfs also many times. And then when you open, you see a fuck up. How, how did he manage to put engine oil in the stupid salt mill? How did he even manage? Did he did he screw it be, below his car? How how can it happen? Did, did, he, did he change the oil in the car and then screw his salt mill? You see how he sabotaged and he sabotaged himself because you told him you are going to make him money, you will do business together. Instead, you should have done... Are you following me, warrior? Yeah. Are you following me? This is how you treat the surf. You must promise him that you will do business, but but he must know that he will get fooled. Then he will be happy. You understand? So he must, the surf must I know. told him. Yes, yes, I no. told him. I told him. Because I told him, how, how, how much do you charge for this meal, salt meal? 20 few euro. Okay. I will purchase next time. I will get an order, 100 of these. But while you will sell them at 25 euro, I will send them to a rich client in Russia for 180 euro. No, and but it, that's a mistake. Uh, well, no, that's a, that's no, a big no. mistake. Because for surf, 20 euros is already too much for the meal. He wants to have two euros. He wants to work hard and in blood. That's his big wish. You don't understand the psychology of the surf. For you, for you, it is very stupid that uh, he makes a meal for 20 euros and you send it, you sell it to Russians for 180 euros. For you. No, ma, yeah, but, for, but for I... him, but for him, 20 euros per salt meal is too much. He wants to have yeah. five euros. Euros. He wants to do it for five. He wants, you know what he wants? He wants to lose money on the on the meal. Then he will be happy. That's his biggest desire. He was born with that. He was programmed to lose. Only then he will be happy. Twenty euros is much too much for the surf. You know why? Because he put engine oil in your in your meal that you are supposed yeah, to demonstrate. Right. You are supposed to demonstrate to your rich Russians the meal, and you have you got the meal with the engine oil. But if you said you will get five euros for this, and then he will be so happy. Ah. I will lose, I will be used, I will be used by this warrior. And then he will be happy and you would get 1,000 good meals. I guarantee you, I guarantee you. <laughs> this is so funny. So I have to go back and not tell any, uh, a team anything about the oil he put. Uh, oh, listen, uh, listen, you now have exercise. This is a great exercise how you will cut cord to your serfdom. You will come back and say that everything has changed. You will sell for 250 euros to the Russians, but you have special expenses because you have to take Russians to a beautiful um, swimming pools where, where showgirls will entertain them and that you can only give him 7 euros per day. <laughs> this is so good. Per, the, per his meal. He will be happy. He will be enjoyed that he will be on a loss, you know. He wants he wants to lose. Ah, he enjoy he wants his son, his son to lose also with him. So they lose. Yeah, them. it's like him. It's like him, his son. It's <laughs> like him. You, you know what you know what the surf wants? He want and tell the surf, listen, you must also invest more in your operation. So take credit. What, what's the name in English? Loan money from the bank and guarantee with your house. So he also loses that. Then he will be happy and he will work hard for you. Trust How me. trust me? Because if I I purchase something for delivery to a client of mine and he's poisoning the the, the, the items, how, how how can I work with him? But he's poisoning items because he does not want. To, listen, when you came for the first time in the stupid artisan workshop, he had good products, everything was fine. But when you started telling him, listen, artisan, for 40 years you have been working with your hands, you are tired, you are selling this cheap. I have this rich rush. Rich Russian friends who will buy for 200 euros and now you sell for 20 euros, for example. And then he served them rebelled because you know what? It's it's too good for him. He wants to be a serf and he has his own shop, but he wants to be under the boot of the dominator and he wants to suffer every day. Then his serfdom will be happy. Then he will live the dream of his parents to suffer, to suffer in all religions. Only suffer, suffer. This is not suffering. You come in and you spend 200 euros. You you you. You give him for his bowl, you give him 120 euros. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. For, for a one, salad bowl. 
salad or it, bowl. It, it, if I euro, it, if yes, I euro. But that, that, that salad bowl, I, I could go into the forest and make the ball in three days. I could oh, do it. I know, my, I, I, I too, but it's it taking a lot of time to do wait, this, my guy. Wait, listen to me. So I could go into the forest and for three days I will have that ball. I'm not that good with tools, but I will have that ball. That means that the surf artisan can do it in three hours. And uh, do you think the surf can get paid 120 oh, no. euros for three hours? Yeah. No, that's too much. Listen, when, when he got that money, he did not know what to do. So he bought lottery tickets. He, he like... I know, but <laughs> I know how he took the money from my mom. He took the, took the money in shame and put in the pocket <laughs> yes. but uh, was in shame as soon as he told me I have now I have to you come back in the in the laboratory you you, you will choose a, a gift because uh, I have to give you but how so I I, I I shut up and I wanted to see his behavior yes and so he went there and I I, I, I looked at what uh, I, I needed but I didn't and <laughs> didn't anything and so listen you 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 underestimated the power of his serfdom you grossly underestimate you thought he just want to suffer a little bit that's what you thought uh, you no, to, I no, he, wants, he wants to suffer a lot he wants he wants great serf suffering great it's in, it's in all the major religions in your sweat the, the woman will give birth in pain and the men they will suffer on the land it's it's in all major oh, religions no. it's, it's, I, I, wah, suffering wah. He, ha he has the laboratory laboratory in front of the cathedral of the town yeah Yes, yes. Just in front. Just so, in front. So, so he wants to be the, the sacrificer for your referential system. But if, you if, have he, to, if he gets 20 euros and you sell to your rich Russian friends for 180 euros, for your referential system, that's a bad deal. But for his, it's too good. He's re rebelling, did you see? And he's not even conscious. You understand? The serfdom is dominating him. And he put the stupid engine oil into your salt meal. Yeah. And he's not even aware of that. Because the, the parasite that has overtaken him he went probably with your salt meal below the car and let the, let the from his surf car of course he has a surf car with dripping oil and then the the oil has dripped inside and he said good maybe maybe italian champion gets poisoned so i will never be successful and i will stay a surf because this italian champion is a danger to me he wants to to share his success with me but no i do not want it i, I need to be a surf because i have that cathedral and when i was born my mother took me to the cathedral and the pope said in the suffering, you will reach heaven. In, you will, uh, in the knee, uh, in the knee on the floor, on the knee, on the knee. Well, well knee, kneeing on the floor is just the least suffering. But in suffering, in, in, in is, uh, life suffering, you will be righteous and you will reach heaven. And he really is a serf. He believes that. So he wanted to poison you. So you, or, or at least to make you not motivated to do business together. So you give up. So the next time, listen, the next time you have an exit. Now, now you want to say, fuck off serf. No, but. Use it as an exercise for your personal growth. For a surf consciousness can maybe... So this guy saw his video. This guy is maybe on the level that consciously he wants to prosper and live a good life. Consciously. But unconsciously he's a horrible surf. Are you following Italian? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what you need to do, you need to go to that guy and give him... Now follow me closely. Give him... Look what Balkan Alchemist teaches you about business. When dealing about with surfs, and 99.9% .9 of people are surfs, you must consciously give him a vision that is logical, that is prosperous. That means you sell to the Russians, you, in a common sense, you divide money, everybody prospers. But he must unconsciously, he must unconsciously understand that he will be bamboozled, that he will be cheated, that he will be crooked. And then he will take, he will take the bait. You understand? You understand? You must present to him such an offer. Do not think about an offer that you would accept because you are not a serf, you're a warrior. But the serf, when he works for somebody, when he accepts an offer, he must understand that one day he will be cheated, he will be taken advantage of, he, his finger will be cut off by the machine, and then he will be happy to take your offer. So think about your dealing with him. You understand? You understand? Yeah, so because so for, he... for his consciousness, for his consciousness, you must present a facade of common sense. That is common sense. Like, you cannot sell for 20 euros because Russians want to pay 180 euros. That is common sense. La, la, la. But deep inside, he must have an impression that he will lose his house, lose his health, lose his fingers, lose his money, and be paid very little, and then he will be happy. You understand? That 
will make him happy because he is finally suffering. He is finally living the life that mother took him to the church to hear. Suffer in this life and then glory awaits you in the next life. What bullshit. I have, I have I have to deal with him with the lowest price, like when you buy from this Indian guy from the on the on the cross light at, yes. at the street. Yeah, yes, yes, like yes, like this. No, 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 no. Indian guy on the cross light. No Indian guy. The the, the black guy gypsy, on the beach. Gypsy, gypsy guy. The black guy on, on the cross light. Yeah. Now, now follow me close. You do not understand. Black guy on the cross light is even lower in self esteem. So he consciously wants to be the surf. He consciously and of course subconsciously wants to be the surf. The Indian guy, you say, li listen, I give you five euros for the salt meal or you can die of hunger. And then he will accept. You understand? But this artisan, consciously, he wants to be normal. He Consciously, he wants to have a shop uh, to be his independent master. He consciously wants, but subconsciously, he wants to be a huge surf. By the way, we warriors and sorceresses also have the same problem because we have all been, you and me, Italian champion, you and me, we have been programmed in childhood to be serfs and then as we grow up we deal with that consciously but subconsciousness it pulls us down but then as we detoxify we are able to take these ingredients from nature that detoxify us because of that they catch they catch the memory of surf programming when we were children they expel it out that is why a person that becomes warrior or sorceress can earn much more money be much more successful and then we start dealing with that we start cleaning that but your artisan friend he is only on the con Conscious level, like the majority of people, consciously they yeah. all say they want, well, we, but we, unconsciously we, we they want, destroy. Yeah, but, but unconsciously not they destroy. They, uh, unconsciously they try to poison with engine oil a person that says he will buy a yeah, hundred, a yeah, yeah. hundred meals. They you try understand? to sabotage their helpers, the yes. opportunity of growth, of richness. They try to uh, uh, sabotage everything, kind of. Uh, attempts to escape from their prison yes yes by, by trying even to poison their benefactor you understand, I so, understand that. so but we we warriors and sorcerers we must also fight that and we do it with detoxification mainly because this invisible program until the age of 12 that was put into us at the age of 12 13 we, we start to realize that something is wrong but before that we are just fed the programming and then the way how to solve that is by using the magami protocol to detoxify and then that past reflections go out but also we have to learn dealing with our surrounding people where people have no clue of that they do not have clue they are slaves of this horrible program and the only way how to successfully deal with that is to make that program happy that means that you must bamboozle that surf and he must suffer in business dealings with you it sounds cruel but that's the only way that's the only possible yeah, yeah. way you will make a business this is why I lost 250,000 <laughs> Do, euro in my jeans. This but is please why. explain how did how did the surf mentality destroy I, you? I, I purchased one gym in 1999. Yes. I purchased the second gym in 2000. In yes. 2001, another gym. In 2003, I did the, the big uh, jump, a big uh, big gym in city. And uh, each time I, I needed for employees for everything for cleaning for dealing with people because you know working in the gym is a very beautiful work for any anyone as far to work in the gym at yes. the same time i was studying in florence so every single day i was, go, I was driving two times per day in florence because you have to go to put a, a firm at lessons at university bow down to the demons to 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 the guy gord you understand in florence yes. beautiful guy gord uh, uh, what, I, what is Guy Gord? What is Guy Gord? Uh, no, the statue with the uh, with demons, like in France, in the oh, cathedral. Really? Ga oh, really? Guy Gord in English. What is it? Gargoyle. English? Gargoyle. 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 The demon. Yes. Yeah, the, at the University of the Florence, uh, there, of anatomy, there is the Gargoyle. Oh. You go down, beautiful Gargoyle. Now I understand why, because I took so many demons at uh, uh, the uh, anatomy department so now i understand why i, I, I was dying uh, one month yes. ago i have all these employees and oh, every single time when i come back uh, I, I, to my gym uh, years after years week after year months after all i have better employee and worse employee and i was treating all at the same time yes with the same reward i was always giving them more money yes. understand and they were stealing me money yes <laughs> And when I have uh, an exam, because I was I was doing many things, because I was working the security, I I, I have always been a money machine. I always been I have, I have many opportunities. 
when I have to prepare for exams, I, I, I ask my, some of my employees, can you stay for two, three days before the exam here and leave me alone at home without any worries for studying, focusing for two days? Yes, yes, yes. And then they ask me, Alberto, if you pay me more, I will stay here. Otherwise, uh, you know, I will leave the open gym with all the clients and you will fuck up. You understand? Eh? <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You understand? It happens so many times that I have all this treat. Uh, and I have to participate the exams. I took bad bad votes. I I lost some exams because I was see tricked by my employees. I understand uh, this miserable employee. And yes. uh, on 2002, things start to go. But which which year were you the Italian champion? Which year was the bodybuilding? Uh, in 1996. Oh, I see. So you already had the authority, but yeah, even, yeah, even, yeah. even though even though you were Mr. Somebody, they still disrespected you. Even though yeah. you were you were Mr. Somebody. Yeah, but uh, I went in, in 1996 in the summer and I opened my gym in 1998 uh, in October. So I I took one 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 year and a half before uh, because I needed to go to the military military, military Italian service. Uh, so I lost one uh, one year and a half in the between. You understand? Uh? Yes. Yes. As soon as I came back from military, the, the, the army service, I, I opened my gym because uh, I tried many, many works and sales and uh, etc. But uh, my passion was that. But I was, uh, if I have, I, if I had only one gym and I was just doing that gym only by myself, now I probably have five, ten million, million euro because really, really, because uh, I, I did the mistake to be, dream big, expand, 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 but I didn't have the leadership and they have, uh, have the skills for uh, whipping uh, the, the, this, this employee, this self, this exactly. self because they are then self. They would be, they would, then they would be happy if, if you cheated on them, if you give them little money, because I suspect they did not cause you problems to get money for them. They caused you problems to sabotage you. That, yes. is, that is the that is the aim and to sabotage themselves because you maybe told them listen I'm now getting my third or fourth gym you will also grow you will be promoted he does yeah, not want yeah. he does no, not want no, that. no no responsibility no responsibility on the on the back you understand nobody wanted responsibility you understand but uh, yes. but the big crash came 2002 because uh, I was building this gym in town mm -hmm. and a uh, huge investment, a huge, huge investment, all new equipment, uh, huge, uh, the floor, everything. Yes. And uh, I, I, I was at um, the university, other things, and uh, I, my focus uh, wasn't there on the other three gyms. So in one gym uh, that is, was bringing more revenue for, for paying the expenses, I had this guy working for me and uh, he was more uh, authoritative, you understand? Uh, yes. He was, um, and uh, when the crash had arrived from the bank, uh, I realized that uh, every single people of the village, every single client of that uh, I knew because I was open, yes. I, I opened the gym. So yes. all the all the clients that I have in that village uh, yes. didn't told me tell me anything about what this guy was doing because this guy was was opening the the, the gym uh, at uh, three p.m. And he was going around for for, eh? and he was going coming back at the ten for closing the, the gym. And the gym was completely alone. With oh, nobody, unbelievable. Understand, eh? unbelievable! So nobody was paying the monthly fee. Uh, everything was dirty. There was shit in the toilets. Uh, uh, but nobody called me. Take a phone, call me. You understand? Eh? So this yes. is why I don't I don't want to have any more deal with people, especially with people in my local area, because they are completely in shame. They were completely in shame for the shame uh, I was. It's going, growing. We want to make millions, and this is what he deserves. We will destroy him. You understand me? <laughs> yes, they con they probably consciously wanted to destroy you. That's the worst. They, the no, they, they when prefer, the surf, no, they when prefer, the surf wants to consciously destroy No, the, my client went to get every single day in the gym to get the train with no light, with cold gym. You understand? Because yes. this guy opened the, the gym only and went and left the gym. Yes. And the, 
they prefer to train themselves in the darkness, in the cold, in the sm bad smell, before calling me and telling me that something was going wrong. We uh -huh. understand? So they were enjoying the, the Yeah, they the, were the enjoying! They were enjoying, <laughs> understand? They were enjoying! Hello everybody. I just wanted to make this video while I'm here at this beautiful spring. For Magami, because it's such a beautiful place and um, yeah, I would like to I would like to say that there's no no guru that you can find out there that will give you. what Magami can give you because from my personal experience um, every guru or you know person that um, is very much on the health path and everything a lot this will this this is what you will realize when you start working with Magami when you start working with Magami you will realize that you can probably forget about 99.9 .9 plus percent of all the people that you were like getting help from them before like there will still be you will still get you will st there's I'm not saying that you will not be able to get help or improvement by working with other people than Magami but what I'm actually saying is what I'm actually saying is that when you work with Magami you will get much even much more out of the teachings of other very powerful people and you will see, um, you will be, you will like your ability to see other people's mistakes will be much higher. That skill, so to speak, will be much better developed. And, um, because Magami, yes, Magami is doing really uh, is is offering you an amazing cleansing program. But then, the thing is that a lot, a lot of healthy people, they they do all the cleanses. Yeah, and then they think that's all. They think it's everything. But when you work with Magami, you will realize that the cleanses, the cleanses are just the beginning. I. I mean, I, I know people personally who think that they are clean and then all of a sudden they fall back into um, binging for months on sugar and uh, white flour and pizza and noodles and so on and get pumped up with toxins again. It's very important, but it's just the beginning of like... Yeah, because Magami will give you, it's, it's not easy to describe. For example, look, look what I'm doing here right now. I'm, I'm at a beautiful spring source. I collected this water and I will show you this beautiful place, which is one hour, more than one hour away from where I live. But it's now easy for me to get here because I'm so balanced 
and I'm so in the flow that I don't know how late, maybe it's 12 o'clock or so. Here, there comes water out, out of the ground. Here comes water out. I'm so, so balanced. Even though I'm going to something which most people don't go through, but I mean, when I look at other people, oh, a nice frog, look, a nice frog. There comes water out. Hello. <laughs> Really nice, <clears throat> really nice, really beautiful. And you will be able to, to cleanse your body and rejuvenate. And Magami will, will provide you with secrets that no one else can provide you with. Like you can, you can get can uh, find all this basically I mean no if you would want to get everything that you can get from working with Magami it's almost impossible because you're not Magami because Magami is like no, he's a he's just a force. He's a he's a natural force. Okay, you could see it like that, and just like a spring or a yeah, is is yeah, such a beautiful spring is only here and not like all over the place like in the city like every corner you go there's a beautiful spring no warriors and sorcerers i gave you an overview how you will succeed in business with employees that want to be serfs there will be steps first you will need to show your anger the anger will need to exit you then you will need to give them what they really desire on the conscious level and on the subconscious level at first you will not be able to understand how a person consciously chooses misery but later you will get to that point and then in the end you will succeed and when the anger leaves you then you will really be healthy you will really be prosperous and you will not be faking it because faking it is the worst possible situation you could be in contact me now to throw the wrench into the machine